so are the targets for security breaches and malware intrusion. <clears throat> in this environment, the only way you can have an engaging and consistent experience is to make sure that your devices are protected, really protected. Let me talk about what that means. You've seen the headlines. Security breaches are impacting every industry. Every type of device is vulnerable. Smartphones and tablets are not immune from this. And while the estimated trillion dollars in lost productivity is alarming in itself, in many ways the impact on privacy and reputation is much more bothersome. We at Intel saw this trend, and we also saw the need for a holistic approach to this. We wanted to rethink the entire approach to security, which led to our deep partnership with McAfee. To demonstrate the progress we've made along these lines, I wanted to introduce uh, Candace Worley, the Senior Vice President and General Manager of Endpoint Security at McAfee, to join me on stage today. <laughs> McAfee threat map. This is a map of recent threat activity from around the globe with about a 30 minute delay. Each of the red dots you see on this map indicates a thousand instances of the indicated malware occurring at that time. And any country changing from dark to light indicates that the recent threat activity in that region has become large enough to justify one of those red dots. Well, that's, that's really unnerving. It, it seems like the real effort to stop malware is just a race to keep up. Yeah, that is in fact true. As you can see from this map, traditional security approaches are having a very difficult time keeping up. The traditional approach is really a software-based approach. And the challenge with that approach is that malware, for example, rootkits, will often embed themselves at the kernel level of the operating system, making it very difficult for antivirus products to actually see them and clean them. Additionally, rootkits will often pretend to be part of the operating system and may also additionally cloak malware that's already present on that device. Traditional software can detect known rootkits using signatures, but frankly, at that point, the system's already infected and it's too late. Yeah, well, is there a way to detect unknown rootkits before they occur? Yeah, that's actually the basis of much of the work that McAfee and Intel have been doing together for the last couple of years. Using a combination of hardware and software allows us to monitor system memory and processor activity, giving us a way to detect the intrusion of unknown threats. This is a fundamentally new approach to next generation of security. Today, I'd like to introduce the McAfee DeepSafe technology platform. Using VT capability in the Intel Core i3, i5, and i7 processors, DeepSafe gives us a new vantage point on security that allows us to prevent unknown, i.e. zero-day attacks. The DeepSafe technology platform will become the foundation of a number of future products for McAfee. Well, how close are we to seeing DeepSafe in action? Actually, today, running behind, uh, here is a system running behind us with the DeepSafe technology on it, and it's going to be used to actually detect an unknown rootkit. But before we take a look at that, let's see how a rootkit will actually launch on the system and the kinds of malicious actions it might hide. Many attacks are triggered when we launch, say, a video or an application from one of our favorite sites. And oftentimes, users will see a warning and just kind of click on through it and ignore it. If you noted, this video doesn't actually run. Most users would assume that that was a glitch with the system. They'd try to relaunch the video, maybe bail out on their internet surfing session. But there's been very malicious activity happening in the background. Essentially, the Agony Rootkit has installed itself and is copying files off of that system. For the purposes of this demo, we've actually exposed some of the activity of the rootkit that would typically be hidden from the end user's view. Now let's take a look at a system that's actually running the DeepSafe technology. Here, running on top of DeepSafe, is beta software for a soon-to-be-announced product from McAfee that will do kernel mode rootkit prevention. Once again, the user clicks through the warnings and unknowingly installs the Agony rootkit. But because the DeepSafe technology and beta software is utilizing the VT technology from Intel, we actually recognize the rootkit as it attempts to load into memory and we block the attack in real time. With the DeepSafe technology platform, we're actually able to protect our customers and save them time and money. 
That's great. That's an exciting product. Can't wait to see it launch. Thank you Thanks so again. much.